Yeah, and please keep those messages of support coming in for Jamie as well. We've been so inspired and impressed with her, her body transformation, but also the internal transformation. Um, so we'd love for you to share that journey with us, and we'll continue to do it throughout the show. In fact, it's a, a health-inspired show today. We want to get you moving, maybe trying something new. We've proven that climbing is a fantastic way to really get in touch with your body, and now we have a plethora of indoor climbing gyms to find throughout Jersey. Today we're at City Rock, one of the tallest indoor climbing gyms in Africa, to learn a little bit more about the sport of indoor rock climbing. How does one get involved in it, what are the health benefits, and most importantly, just how big is the sport in South Africa? I'm also hoping to try out one of their beginner courses, and hopefully it won't be too bad. Let's go. Kirsty, these are some pretty high walls you guys have in here. Yes, they are. We are really proud of that. City Rock Cape Town and City Rock Johannesburg have some of the tallest walls in Africa. So that is pretty great for us and for the climbing community. And talk to me a little bit about how you became involved in the sport of indoor rock climbing. It was pretty interesting. I'd always had a passion for outdoors. And then when I heard about rock climbing or mountain climbing at my university, I decided to get on board with it. And when City Rock Johannesburg opened up, I just had to be here. How does indoor rock climbing differ from conventional outdoor mountain climbing? Is there any correlation, any similarities? There's quite a few similarities. So you use the same gear. The risk can change differently because now you've got rocks that can fall off, but indoors you can have grips that fall off the wall. Let's move away from the risk now. What are some of the health benefits that indoor rock climbing has on the body? So on the body, it also has on the mind. So on the body, it is a full body workout. You get everything from your arms to your legs to your core. Everything is included when you climb on the walls. It also has a really great benefit for building relationships between other people. So climbing is a very social sport. You can really get into it from a young age to an old age. There is no age limit on climbing. Well, I'm excited and nervous at the same time, so <laughs> let's go for it. All right, let's do this. Okay, so it's not always the same colour that will tell you the grade. So the grade over here is 17 for all the purple grips. So if you climb on only the purple grips, you're doing a grade 17. Okay, Ooh. so I'm going to clip you in. Okay. As a beginner, a staff member will always assist you clipping in on the machine. This is called an automatic belay. It stands for auto belay system. So you're going to clip in like that. The gates are always opposed to make sure that they don't open each other. We're so going to check that you're all locked nice and safe. All so right. there's no way it's going to snap. There's no way oh, there's it's no way I'm going to fall. No, you are locked in, in the correct way, in the correct loop. Okay, I trust you, Chris. All right. We started off today's indoor rock climbing tutorial with the auto belay, and this wall is really just for fun, or for beginners like myself, or for general training. I thought I was going to do a lot worse than I did. I made it right to the top, and that for me was impressive, if I do say so myself. So Kirsty, we're about to do some bouldering now, which is a lot more risky than what we started with, right? Yes. So the auto belays, there is a rope or a system to catch you. On bouldering, the only thing that catches you is the mats and your body. So on this wall, this is a bit more dangerous compared to the top rope and the, the auto belays. So we don't wear any harnesses for this. You'll come up straight through to the wall. You'll find your grips and then you will climb all the way up. All the way up to there. When you get to the top, you need to land and go onto your bum and curl in. Next up, we tried some bouldering. Now this wall forms part of the Olympics and you can actually see why it does. It's a lot more complicated, a lot more complex to climb than the first one. There's no harness holding you, so if you fall, you fall flat on the mattress. I must admit, this one showed me flames. The last wall we tried out was the speed wall, and this wall mimics the Olympic route. So it's used for athletes looking to train ahead of the Olympics or for major competitions. It looks tough, but I must say it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. You need a lot of speed though, and you need to be very flexible on the legs in order to complete this one. Overall experience here at City Rock, a 10 out of 10. I'm definitely going to be back for more. Kirsty, what does it take to reach professional level in the sport? What level of commitment is required? 
So commitment is definitely important. If you come only once a week, you can't expect to go to the Olympics versus the person who comes six days a week for four hours. So commitment is definitely important to reach the next level and how long and how much you climb. For anyone sitting at home right now wondering, can I take up this sport? Is it for me? What would you say to them? I would say come do it. You can either become it for social, so you can do it socially, you can do it with your buddies, with your mates, with your family, but if you want to do it professionally, we are also open to that as well. Well, we definitely came, we saw and we conquered. Might not have been Mount Kilimanjaro, but we definitely have to start somewhere. Thanks so much for your help, Kirsty. I'll definitely be back for more.